experience has been great here at Weatherford College. I like the convenience of the location. It's been great working and going to school, so The staff has been very helpful for my education. Coach Don DeWeber, your Bulldogs came out Friday night, kept you in the hunt. Well, they did. We really played well uh, offensively and defensively, and and we came out with a victory, and that gives us a chance to play this week for a playoff spot, and we'll just get after it and see what we can do. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's still with the tight game. I mean, uh, right down to the end, one score and a, and a conver two-point conversion, and uh, the other team goes ahead. Oh, they, the Willie ties, so uh, – you know, we were eight points ahead. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that you have to continue to play. We uh, Right down to the wire. Well, you know, they only had like <laughs> 15 seconds when they got the ball on their own 25-yard line or 20-yard line or so. So, uh, But defensively, we really played well, held them to seven points. They've been averaging about 31 points a game this year. And so defensively, we play well. Offensively, we really controlled the ball and the clock and uh, – you know, our offense did well. Our offensive line really played well. I think Colton ended up with uh, 210 yards rushing, and uh, we gave him the ball a lot, and everything turned out right for us. Hey, Colton likes to get the ball a lot, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. You know, all <laughs> uh, all kids like to perform, so he he, yeah. he likes it. So, And uh, we like it when he's gaining yards, yeah. too. So, yeah. Terrific. Uh, when that sets up uh, the match uh, with Henrietta, and that's, uh, that's a do or die. Uh, Henrietta, we need to, we need to win, so uh, – you know, we're going to prepare that away this week and and uh, look at their stuff uh, offensively and defensively and see what we can do, make a few changes here and there and make some adjustments and see if we can't stop them. It ought to be a good game. It's here Friday night, so we're looking forward to it. And it ought to be an exciting football game. This will be our last visit for the year, this go-round of, of Coach's Corner uh, features. Uh, you know, your season's not over, but assess your season uh, uh, with your kids here to this point. Well, the kids have really performed well. We've been up and down, you know. I was looking at the scores the other day, and uh, we've won one, lost one, won one, lost one, won one, lost one. So we're fixing to change that mode. We're going to win two in a row here and, and continue on. You feel a little like a ping pong ball. At yeah. The oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the kids have been great. They've worked hard. Uh, I'm proud of their effort. and. Uh, they're just a bunch of good kids, and we're uh, we're excited to be here and excited to have this chance. Super, Coach. I've enjoyed visiting with this this year. Let's visit uh, with a couple of your featured uh, guys. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Number, a couple of guys to feature from your program this week. Introduce these two. Hey, this one right to my left is Jordan Lingle. He's our number one manager. Go for go do it all. Assistant coach helps us out. Tells us what we're doing wrong uh, and what we're doing right. And He's a, he's a great asset to us and a great help to have him around. We, we, we got a chance to visit with him last year, and I'm looking forward to another visit. That's right. And next to him is Josh Brown, who is a, plays offensive guard and linebacker for us. He's a young man who went through quite an ordeal last year. With uh, We found out first of two days last year that he had leukemia. He went through his chemotherapy for nearly all year last year and uh, has bounced back and is uh, out there this year. and. Play some on our special teams, hasn't played a whole lot, but he's working to gain his strength back and get back to where he wants to be and, and where he was before uh, before the illness. So it's a, it's a great story to have him healthy again, and uh, a lot of our prayers have been answered, and, and uh, he's going to continue to get better and, and stronger and, and ready to go. Amen to that. We'll visit with these two guys. It's Jordan and Josh, is that right? Jordan, uh, you know, it's it's been a good year. I was talking to Coach about it a little bit earlier. It's been kind of up and down as far as win-loss, but uh, you're still in a position, the team's still in a position to uh, take it all away. Anything can happen at this point. Yeah, this is uh, the biggest game of our history, <laughs> I think, because this is the first time that we're going to make playoffs in 2A. So I'm really excited about this game. That is terrific. That is uh, super. What are some of some of your responsibilities? Coach mentioned a couple of the things, but uh, uh, what do you do? I preach to the guys for the game. You know, do the water. You know, do the equipment stuff. Just basic stuff. Take care of the guys. Yeah, basically. And I'm sure they're glad to have you there, uh, uh, Josh. We won't visit with you for just a second. Uh, what an experience. And those of us, I was talking to Coach earlier, you know, I'm fretting going to the dentist uh, later in the week. But, you know, 
uh, some of us go through things a whole lot heavier. And just congratulations on your comeback. And I, I know you're g glad to be back in the saddle. Yeah. Uh, it's just things you have to go through in life that, I mean, just a lot of people have different things they have to go through. And that was one of mine. Just got to make it through it and do what I can. Well, it sounds like you faced it uh, head on and uh, went through the, the treatment in your back. Uh, what, was it, what was going through your mind when you're back on the sidelines for the first time? uh and maybe getting ready to go in uh well let's say the first game i was back in and i didn't expect expect to play at all coach was like someone got hurt coach told me to go in i was like okay hey josh get in there yeah and i was just okay i'm ready for this and <laughs> kind of scared but then i was ready for it so it was all right that is terrific what do you guys like to do when you're not uh, taking care of the, of the of the team uh, playing, watching football, watching baseball. What do you like to do otherwise? Watch TV. <laughs> That's about it. What's your favorite show? ESPN. NFL Network. <laughs> all sports. It's all sports. Why, 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 why could I have guessed that? What about you, Josh? What do you like to do in your spare time besides sports? Uh, messing with cars and mechanical stuff and automotive. I don't know. Just Is that going to be in your future? Maybe, yeah. I think it probably will be in my future. Just, just got to wait and see what happens, I guess. Super. Well, listen, you got a big one coming up uh, a Friday night. You know, what are you going to do special? Get ready for th for this one. Uh, I'm going to talk to Coach about that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hopefully I can bring one of the district trophies last time that we won district and hopefully use that as an example for this Friday's game. That is super. What about you, John? Uh, I think we just need to go out there and play like we can because I know this team has a lot of talent and heart that we can – we just play with it. We, I know we'll win. Terrific. Best of luck on this one. Yeah. Thank you.